So today I am going to explain the fourth problem of lead code weekly context 289, which is longest path with different adjacent characters. Uh, so uh, we are given a tree and we have to find uh, the longest path in the tree which does not contain two nodes with equal characters. So let us see the example first. So for this example, mm -hmm. For this example, what is the longest path in the tree which does not contains two equal characters? So um, the path can, could be this, like A, B, C. So this does not contain two uh, adjacent nodes with equal characters. We cannot move this further because then 2 and 0 will contain uh, adjacent characters. So answer for this is 3. And for this node, uh, for this tree, what will be the maximum number of uh, nodes in the path uh, which does not contain equal characters? So for this, uh, the answer will be 3. So we will go from 3 to 0 to 2. So uh, let's say take another example like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, where the um, characters are characters are A, B, A, B. Then answer for this will be 4 because we can move from 1 to 4 and there is no uh, two adjacent nodes with equal characters. So um, what will be our approach? So for solving this problem, we will uh, use one uh, DP approach, which is called key now DP. So let me explain this first to you. So let's say uh, this is one tree. So what is in out DP? So in in DP means that what is the maximum value in the subtree of a node? Okay. So in of two. So what does in of two means? What is the maximum value in the subtree of two? Okay. So for this case, so for this case, what we have to take? Uh, so let's say this is a b b and this is t and this is a and this is e okay so we have to take what is the maximum value in the subtree of 2 so what is the maximum value in the subtree of 2 the maximum value of the subtree of 2 is 2 because we can take this path 2 and 4 so in of 2 will be equals to 2 so let us uh, calculate in for all uh, nodes so first in of 3 will be what in of 3 will be 1 the maximum length of the path with uh, no addition characters for in the subtree of 3 is only 3 or node contain, only containing 3 so the uh, in of 3 will be 1 in of 4 will samely be 1 in of 2 i have already calculated it will be 2 and for uh, in of 6 it will be 1 because only node 6 will contain in the path for 5 no, node 5 the path will be 5 comma 6 because 5 and 6 have different characters so in of uh, 5 will be 2 for in of 1 we have to take uh, the maximum for this uh, this part of the subtree so node starting from 2 or node starting from 5 so answer will be 3 because we can take a sorry 1 2 and 4 the length of the path is 4 so how we are calculating uh, this in out dp sorry this in dp so let me write it so if the si if a sub any node equals to a sub child we are just not taking it okay because we are not taking we are not considering uh, 5 in case of 1 so if uh, si equals to s of child, we we'll just continue. So we will iterate over all child of i else. Else what will we will do? Else uh, our in of i will be maximum of in of i comma in of child plus one. Okay. So this will be our uh, definition of uh, in. So we will iterate over all the child of a. Now uh, I hope you have got uh, what is the how we are calculating in. Now the next part is out. Out is uh, slightly bit trickier than in. So how we are calculating out? So let me explain it. So uh, I will take the same um, example. So this will be one, two, three, and four, and this is five, and this is six, and the uh, uh, nodes will be A. I think this is B. This is B. This is C. This is E. This, this is not E. This is A and this is E. Okay. So for this case, what is the value of out? Out means the length of the longest path starting from node I but not containing any node from its uh, subtree. So out is uh, basically out is equals to the tree minus our in or subtree. Okay. So for let us check what will be our values. So for let's say uh, for 2, so what is the length of the longest path? starting from 2 and uh, not going to any of the nodes in its subtree so from 2 we will go to its parent so 2 and 1 is possible because the value of 2 and 1 are different so we will go from 2 to 1 now we can't move any further because uh, 5 will contain a so we can't go to 5 so the value for out of 2 is 2 now let us check what is the value for out of 3 
so the value for out of three will be we can move to uh, from three to two so the value of out of two will be one and similarly the value for out of four will be we can move from uh, four to two and from two to one so the value for four will be three out of four will be three now let us check what is the value for five the out of five will be one because we can move from five to one and the, what is the value for six value for six will be out of six will be uh, two because we can move from six to five so the value the path will be six comma five and the value for one will be one because we can't move any further above of the tree so this is the value for uh, out of all the nodes for one to one and one one three i hope you understood what is the value for in and out so our maximum value will be uh, in the tree will be the value of in plus value of out for any node so the maximum of in of i plus out of i so let me explain why we are taking this so in of i means uh, the longest path in the subtree of i and out of my means the longest path in the subtree uh, not in the subtree of i so in the parent child uh, like parent part of the node okay so in of i plus out of my minus one because we will take uh, consider two in both of the cases in of i and out of i so our value will be in of i plus out of i minus one so you may argue that uh, there could be another case uh, where uh, in and uh, i is not part of like in in part and out part so uh, here what i can say is that we can represent any path uh, let's say the path is like five one two four or let's say another six five one so in the both of the example we can take this uh, path as uh, uh, the part in i and out i for the first part this is uh, the first part is out i and the second part is in i and for the this path the total part is out of i uh, sorry in of i in of one okay i hope you got it what i am trying to say is that uh, any path can be represented as a, a like in of i and out of i for a node in, in the path okay so uh, let me show you my code now so uh, uh, before showing you my code i will try to explain uh, the uh, like in of i and uh, how we are calculating the value of out of i so let me explain that so uh, how we are calculating the out of i so for any node 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 uh, this part is interesting so let me explain you that so now uh, so for calculating the uh, out value of 2, we will consider uh, out values of 1 and uh, in value of 5. Okay, so how I am going to do that. So let's say, uh, let me take another example, 2, 3, 4, and this is 5, and this is 6, and this is 7, this is 8, and this is 9. So, uh, and this is, let's say, this is 10, and this is 11. Now we will uh, try to calculate the value of out of 2. So out of 2 will depend on out of 1. So out of 1 will depend on this, this part, okay. Or out of 2 can be taken from this part, 1, 6, or 1, 7, 8, or 1 to 9, okay. So these are the four possibilities. These are the four paths where out of 2 can take part, okay. So uh, the value of out of 2 will con can consider 2, 1, 6, or 2, 1, 7, 8, or 2, 1, 9, or 2, 1, 10, 11, any of these four, okay. So what is the what is it? So uh, so out of any value, let me write it. Out of any value of any node i will depend on out of can depend on what the, it can depend on out of parent. This is the first thing. Or this can depend upon uh, any of its uh, in value of siblings. Okay, in value of siblings plus one. Why? Because uh, let me shift it. Because um, uh, out of I will depend on out of parent. I have already explained one, ten, and eleven. This part. So out of two depends on the out of one, and in of siblings. So uh, in of siblings is six, seven, and nine. So these are the siblings of two. So what is the sibling of two? So the, the nodes which one uh, uh, which takes the common parent are called siblings. Okay, so uh, this depends on out of 6, out of 7, plus out of 9, plus 1, why? Because uh, 1 for they are common parents, okay. So out, out of i is equal to maximum of out of parent, comma, in of siblings, plus 1, okay. So let me show you my code now. So this is my code. Uh, here, uh, we will first do a DFS to take 
in the compute the value of in so i have already explained if s, sj not equals to si in i equal to maximum of in i comma in j plus one i have already explained that now for dfs2 what we are doing for dfs2 we are computing the value of out so for for computing the value of out uh, we will take a part of uh, we consider all maximum two children of a uh, of its parent node so for for one two six seven nine so we will take the maximum value of maximum two values of these four nodes so let's say this is mx and mx2 so when we try to calculate the uh, out value of two so we will check if the maximum value is equals to equals to in value of uh, our current node a plus one we will take max two in that case if the value of in let's say so uh, what i have said that we will take the maximum value of in in of j plus one for all the uh, child of i okay then we will try to compute out of j when we try to compute out of j we will check if the max value is equals to equals to in j plus one so we can't take this because uh, this is the uh, this is uh, what the value of mx is then in that case we will do mx2 else we will do mx okay i hope you have understood what i am trying to say by that way uh, first we will try to compute mx2 and mx the maximum two values of out uh, in j plus one for a current node i then if si is not equal to uh, sj then what are we are doing out j is equal to out i plus one i have already explained else if mx not equal to in j plus one so this node mx is not this node then we will do out j is equal to max of mx comma out j else out j is equal to max of out j comma mx2 i have explained to you this what I, we are doing this now at the end we are returning maximum of in i plus out i uh, i hope you have uh, understood what uh, i have explained if you still have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section i will try to uh, explain you that in the comment section part if you have uh, benefited from the video please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you